Malcolm Johnson. I'm a faculty member in the College of Public Health and Human Sciences at Oregon State University, and I'm also representing the Oregon Athletic Trainers Society. So athletic trainers are healthcare professionals that prevent, evaluate, treat, and rehabilitate injuries and medical conditions. Athletic trainers are required to be certified nationally by the Board of Certification for the Athletic Trainer and registered as an athletic trainer by the State of Oregon's Health Licensing Office. Starting in 2022, all entry-level AT education will occur at the master's level. ATs collaborate closely with other healthcare professionals, including primary care physicians, such as Dr. Keister, uh, local EMS, school nurses, and more and more with the OSA and OHA on different uh, uh, topics we're, we're interested in. Uh, ATs are, specific, are specifically trained to provide sports-related preventative services. Uh, we have a study, for example, here in Oregon that showed that at schools that had an athletic trainer were more likely to have emergency action plans in place versus schools that did not have athletic trainers. Uh, this type of planning can prevent and hopefully minimize costly catastrophic injuries. Uh, in terms of injury evaluation, ATs in collaboration with physicians can determine if injuries need immediate referral for more advanced care. For example, an athlete trainer who evaluates uh, a student athlete's sprained ankle he may be able to determine whether an athlete needs to se seek further care at the emergency department or can be treated at the school, which potentially could save over $1,000 per visit. Schools who have an athlete, uh, there's been a recent study that showed that schools that have an athlete trainer have a greater number of diagnosed concussions than schools without. This is actually a positive thing. What it shows is that these we're identifying and getting these student athletes who've suffered concussions into proper management earlier. Additionally, additionally, as Dr. McCart will talk about, athletic trainers can play a role in the important concept of returning the athlete to learning, not just returning to participation. When injuries do occur, many, um, many of those injuries can be treated on campus, which will prevent the student athlete from having to leave campus to go to an appointment off campus. So that allows them to stay in school and not miss class. Additionally, for long-term injuries such as surgeries where the athlete needs to go through rehabilitation, the athlete trainer can provide adjunct care working in collaboration with the physical therapist that can extend the number of visits that the athlete will be able to see. In the bigger picture, we really are thinking about, our research group is thinking about athletic training in the bigger public health arena. And so when we look at public health, you know, some of the key concepts are greater utilization. Um, student athletes at schools that have services and athletic training available are able to have access to a healthcare provider on campus every day without any cost to them or their parents. Potential cost savings, as noted earlier, ATs may be able to prevent unnecessary emergency department visits and may save money with catastrophic injuries. Our research group is also uh, at OSU is looking at the all payer, Oregon All Payers All Claims data set and looking at cost effectiveness of athletic trainers. Um, we, are in, we are preparing a publication uh, a, for a study that shows, the, well, the, the, this shows promising results on AT return on investment for Medicaid. Uh, lastly, with um, better care. Unfortunately, when an athletic trainer isn't available, um, the, the coaches and administrators will bear the responsibility to treat these injuries. And so we think it provides better health care for the student athletes in Oregon to have access to uh, athletic trainers and other healthcare professionals on campus. Thank you for your time.